Hey guys, welcome back to another plan with me. This week I'm planning from October 2nd to the 8th and I'm using this pink diamond planner co kit called Horror Night, I wanna say. The text in the video is too small for me to read right now. And it's it's been a hot second since I laid down this spread. It's currently October, no it's not, Jesus. It's currently November 13th. Uh, so, this might be a little rough <laughs> trying to remember everything that happened and also it's been so long I have very different feelings about some of the things that happened this week um but yeah I don't know I, I just I don't know I've been like off my planning game I've just been very very busy and when I finally do have some downtime the last thing I want to do is like pull stickers because my system is terrible and it just uses more brain power than I have to spare right now. So this, I don't know how this is going to go, but we're just going to go with it. As far as this kit goes and the base, it's very straightforward. I didn't do anything exciting. I just laid everything out like I usually do. And I have been hoarding this kit, I want to say since last Halloween. And I just, I knew eventually I would have the perfect night to use it or week to use it, I should say. And that was definitely this week. So time to break this out even though I could just keep hoarding it forever it's a very pretty kit but we're gonna use we're gonna use our stuff so yeah as far as things that happened this week well I if you saw my last plan with me ended the week with some stomach issues and that definitely continued into Monday I also finally had my first doctor's appointment like besides the gyno in I don't know I might have been like 20 21 or something the last time I had a physical um so it's been a minute and uh I'm used to going to the doctor and all my numbers being perfect and everything being great and that is no longer the case so that's really unfortunate because taking care of yourself is insanely expensive and I really just want to keep, you know, floundering my way through life and not having to worry about things like blood pressure. So that sucked. I also had a lot of time I needed to make up this week for work. So I was just very, very tired. Um, I have to make up any of the time I miss while I'm at the doctor or when I'm sick. So yeah, I was just really drained and really depressed because I hate my job. So of course, like working until six, seven o'clock at night or starting work at 7 a.m. It's just like not, it's not fun. I also went to see my friend at her mom's house and I, I almost canceled. I had the text like written out to cancel on her because I was so tired and so sad and didn't want to do anything except like wear sweatpants and lay on my bed staring at my computer. But I forced myself to go and I'm so happy I did because it really turned my week around. I was just so tired and sad every single day until I decided to go visit her. And that's also the reason I decided to use this kit because we went to Six Flags for Fright Fest and it was really, really fun. Um, and then the only other thing that really happened this week was um, my boyfriend's family. What, they came to town, so I had to see them. So it was definitely a jam-packed weekend and week, even though most of the week was just work. Um, it was just a lot. I, it's It's been a very tiring year I'm sure for all of us I just I I have never gone without um like slow weekends this much in my life you know what I mean like I haven't had a weekend where I can just like binge a tv show or you know just get my life together it's just been one thing after another so this week was definitely no different I'm really 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 hoping that after the holidays that things will, you know, chill out because nobody likes January, nobody likes February, and I don't like leaving my apartment during those months. So yeah, I'm, I'm hoping for some downtime in the future. But anyway, that's really all I think I have to say for, oh no, there's one other thing that happened this week. There's one other thing. 
I was struggling so hard with my silhouette. It was a nightmare. I had no idea what was wrong with it. To be completely honest, I still don't know what's wrong with it. I thought maybe I needed a new blade. I needed a new something. I don't know. Something was like a skew in there or I have no idea what fixed it. All I know is that um, I... Well, now I always use my silhouette with a spotlight on it so that the lighting is better, but even that wasn't fixing the problem. The other thing I did that has been working, fingers crossed, is I, what do you call it? I test the silhouette before I send the item to cut. So yeah, that being said, I still need to buy a new uh, cutting mat because my silhouette ate a chunk off my cutting mat and now I have to like manually um, line it up before I cut. So that really sucks. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into these plans. Starting with Monday, the first thing I marked was that I originally was going to take a half day this day. I was so sick. I was up all night. It was terrible. And so I messaged my boss that I just, there was no way I could start work yet. So I told her I had to have it take a half day and I would start at like noon. Um, And she was fine with that, not that she had a choice. Like there was no way I could do anything. And I just used a little munchkin for that. Then with this little mask that I believe is from mm, the freebie from my previous plan with me, I think. I marked that I slept in, of course. And then I started work at noon. And this little character I think is also from last week. And after work, I was feeling like completely better. It was definitely just a one night thing. I have a lot of those. I I always have throughout my life where like, I'll just be really sick and feel really awful all night and won't be able to sleep. But then like, I'll be fine the next day. So because I was fine and because Joe had a coupon for a free pizza, we went to Uno's to get pizzas. Then... Uh, The last thing I did on Monday was we watched American Horror Story, which I think we're going to give up on because it's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. I was, I keep hoping that it's going to like get better and it never does. It's just terrible. And Kim Kardashian is the worst actor I've ever seen. And she's a glowing example of maybe why actors and actresses shouldn't be getting so much Botox because they can't even move their damn faces. It was, it's disgusting. And then we started this like terrible movie and it's technically not a terrible movie. It got really good reviews, but we both hated it. We were so bored. And the only reason why we even started it was because the preview had like a bunch of dead bodies hidden in a wall. So we thought it was going to be like something, you know, messed up like that. It's, it's just a drug, like a drug dealing show movie it was just boring so we 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 what do you call it we're, we're not gonna finish it moving on to Tuesday the first thing I marked with another girl from the freebie last week was that I did the litter and sweep first thing then I started work and I got to work from home even though we're in the office three days a week because my doctor's appointment is walking distance from my apartment. So I used this little emoji in a bed because um, I've been working from my bed a lot lately just because it's only twice a week. I, I just like, I don't know, I get as cozy as I possibly can. Every once in a while, I still work from my desk when I'm, like I have like a lot to do, but for the most part, I'm just, I'm just working from my, de- from my bed. Um, I got some stressful work messages. I can't remember what they were. Can't remember, but I'm sure it was fine. (laughs) And I used another little munchkin to mark that. Then with this Dr. Emoti, I marked that I walked to my doctor's appointment and I thought it went well, um, except for the fact that I have above, what do you call it? Like above, uh, whatever, slightly elevated um, blood cholesterol, blood sugar, something like that. And the thyroid thing hormone I don't know it doesn't matter the point is I am not as healthy as I once was so um that sucks then with this uh sticker sticker this sticker sticker from again I think last week I marked that I was just cutting so many stickers I was really in the zone of like getting all of my Halloween kits ready and figuring out what I wanted to do then I took a break from that and did a voiceover and I want to say that this little microphone might be from Pink Diamond Planner Co 
I think, maybe, I can't remember. And then my silhouette started really struggling, like really bad. And I had to like call it a night just because I was spending hours on this and wasn't getting anywhere. And it was just finally time for bed. The last thing I marked with this little munchkin was that I slept like shit. I don't know where the printer's from. I, I think I have a silhouette sticker, but I couldn't find it because again, my... I need I need to get organized. I need a day. I just need a day. But anyway, I need a year, actually. Um, I don't know where the printer's from. I think from a pink planner shop kit. Moving on to Wednesday, the first thing I marked with this uh, zombie barfy looking munchkin was that I was nauseated first thing in the morning. Don't know why, just probably because I didn't sleep the night before and that happens to me. Let me know if that happens to you. Like where you, if you wake up too early, you're like sick to your stomach. Then I used this little backpack munchkin and a laptop from some, some kid, who knows. I walked to work and then I managed to get a keyboard working that my boss was not able to get working. And so I felt very accomplished because I'm not an engineer uh, like she is. So anyway, I got, I got the keyboard working. Then I just marked with this... This is all, I think this is from a Scribble Prince Co. freebie, this little bagel sandwich. I marked that I brought my own breakfast sandwich and it was genius. It microwaved like a dream. And I actually had like a satisfying meal at work for once. It was fantastic. Then I, I posted on Instagram, uh, yeah, Instagram stories that I had no idea what, um, sneaky bastard meant in my notes, but now I know what it meant. I, I caught somebody leaving earlier than their clock out time. Um, so yeah, just caught that. And then I got home and discovered I had like four mosquito bites on my ankles. And I know exactly when I got the bites. When I went to my, to see my grandmother, they have a ton of mosquitoes outside their place at night. And even though it's October and I shouldn't be getting mosquito bites, um, the only part of my body that was showing were my ankles and, and they got me. Then with this Why Me Munchkin and another one of these printers that I think is from Pink Planner Shop, not 100% sure, the silhouette nightmare continued. It was so bad. I was wasting so much paper. I ended up running out of sticker paper before finishing the kits I wanted to, to cut. And it was so sweet. Rosie from Rosie Plans FaceTimed me to like check in and see how the silhouette thing was going. And it was just really lovely to see her beautiful face. Um, it's been a minute, but it was just, it was, it made my night much better because I was like, I was losing my mind over this stupid silhouette. Moving on to Thursday. The first thing I marked with an emoji was that I slept through my alarm. Of course I did. I I was exhausted. I mean, everybody does it eventually. I still got to work on time though. Um, cause I just like bare minimum, I went to work looking like shit, but at least my face was washed. My skincare was done and my teeth were brushed. That's all that matters. Um, and I used this little not today munchkin because I was able to kill like an hour and a half testing USB keys that, um, my boss gives out at conferences. And I had to make sure that all of them were loaded with the proper websites and they all were, but Oh my God, it killed so much time. I went through hundreds of USBs. It was amazing. I love doing stuff like that. Then I called my grandmother on my walk home and just used this old school little munchkin on a phone to mark that I was sweating, drenched in sweat by the time I got home because it was that weird weather where it was like cold. But if you walked fast enough, you break a sweat. And I like, I hustle. I have, I've probably mentioned this before, but I am able to cut five to seven minutes off my walk to work and home. And so if it's not really cold out and I have a heavy backpack on my back, I'm going to break a sweat. It just is what it is. Um, then I, I was feeling really gross and just like wanted to shower and get into pajamas. But my boyfriend asked if I wanted to go out to dinner with his soccer team. And at first I said, absolutely not. And then I was like, I don't know, maybe I look like shit. I'm wearing my glasses. Like I'm, I'm disgusting. I need to bathe. And he was like, it doesn't matter. And and I thought in my head, well, I've met all of these people before. They know what I'm capable of looking like. I don't smell bad. I just look ugly. So I'm, I'm just going to go. And then of course I met two new people there 
And I know it doesn't matter, but I'm sure a lot of you can relate that when you meet new people, you don't exactly want to look like your worst self. And I wasn't looking too cute because I slept through my alarm. (sighs) But I went and I'm glad I went. I'm trying to do things on weeknights every once in a while because I'm just, uh, I really have to push myself to do that because I'm just like not loving week weekdays. And I just want to, to, to just decay in my bed. Uh, it's so bad. And I marked with, I think this one's more with Love Burger. Oh, sorry. This is a stick with a Planko sticker, by the way. These girls out to eat. The burger is once more with love and I just marked that I had the worst burger only because it was one of the worst burgers I've ever had and this place is known for their burger. So I thought that was funny. Moving on to Friday, the first thing I marked with one of my favorite stickers is Pumpkin Paper Cotera. Um, I marked that I overslept again, but this time it wasn't because I slept through my alarm. I just was too tired to get up. So I started work a little bit later than I wanted to, but still early-ish. Um, I guess I should mention that my boss gave me the opportunity to save my half day from Monday and make up the hours that I missed. So throughout the week, I had to work an extra four hours. In addition to the extra two hours, I worked on the day of my doctor's appointment. I think I started work at 7 a.m. that day and finished at 6 p.m. It was disgusting. And then I had an additional four hours that I needed to make up. So I was just I was just not loving life. So I marked that I worked with another one of these laptops with this Red Bull sticker. I want to say it's from like Design Ski Sticker Co. or something like that. I might have made that up. I can't remember. If you want it, I'll, I'll look it up. But I, it was definitely a two Red Bull day for sure. And then I was feeling super, super weak. Like I could not hold a can of Red Bull without fainting. Like it was, it was just, I would, the, the week was catching up to me. I used this little, like, I think this is a bad day munchkin, but I cut off the, the text. And this was when I was considering canceling on my friend just because I did not have the energy, but I decided to suck it up. And since I was going to be paying the bridge toll into New Jersey, I figured I should run some errands. So I used this um, little purse. And I think this is from a pink planner shop kit just to mark that I ran errands. Then because I realized I did not eat dinner uh, because I had to work late and then I was rushing out, um, I just grabbed some nuggets from Wendy's. They were good. That's all I got though. I... It breaks my heart to get fast food without getting french fries, but I was trying to be healthy. (laughs) Then with, um, oh, and that is from Papershire. Then with this little Once More With Love Pennywise and this Once More With Love roller coaster sticker, I marked that we went to Fright Fest and it was so fun. It was just my best friend, her little brother who is 12. So he's like cutesy, you know, It, it was fun. We had a blast. Um, and then I just marked that I was so happy I came with these two, frolicking munchkins just I was so happy I I almost missed it and I really would have not know what I missed and then on our way back from Six Flags we stopped at Wawa and all got some ice cream so that was fun and then I think this is from Piper Paper Plans but I don't think that they make stickers anymore or they might just make printables now then with this paper shire cat on top of some books I marked that I got to visit the kitten that's what I forgot to say Um, my best friend's aunt rescued a three week old kitten from being crushed on the highway and we got to hang out with her all night after the, after Six Flags. She was so cute and so tiny and, um, I love her to death and they were considering, uh, giving her away, but they decided to keep her and now she is best friends with their dog, their, uh, dog that has, um, separation anxiety. So the kitten was like, just totally fixed that problem he's smitten with her and then the final thing that we did on friday with this little i think this is the once more with love halloween tv was that we just watched the roller coaster scene from final destination three um my friend's little brother really wanted to see it but obviously he's too young to watch the rest of that movie because of like the tanning bed scene and stuff um but we did let him watch that scene and he really enjoyed it i love it when someone enjoys an early 2000s 2010s horror movie just because at this point those are just so like old that I feel like maybe kids won't like them but I mean I like really old movies so they can like early 2000s movies moving on to Saturday the first thing I marked was that I got up super super early because I wanted to get home and have some time to plan and relax before I went to see my boyfriend and his family so I used a little munchkin clock to mark that 
On my way home, I had to stop for gas because it's much cheaper in New Jersey. Mm, well, not much anymore, but it's cheaper in New Jersey and they pump it for you. I don't have to get out of my car. I am a Jersey girl in that way. I can't stand pumping my own gas. It's one of my least favorite things in the world to do. So, of course, I got gas. And this is from Sticky Perks, I believe, the gas uh, sticker. Then I was home by 10.10, which I was so happy about. I really wanted to be home by 10 a.m. So this was pretty close. And I'm also like an hour and 20 minutes away. So yeah, I got up pretty early for a Saturday. And this little house, uh, I can't remember where it's from. From a kit. It's from some kit. Then with this planner, again, I can't remember where it's from. I marked that I planned. I took a tiny little nap with a one, and I marked that with another one of these little um, masks. And then after my nap, I had to go meet Joe and his family. And I used this little uh, Modi. I think this is coffee. No, 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 no. This is Once More With Love. I marked that I had dinner with Joe and his family. And then I just marked that I was exhausted because of course I was. And I used this tired munchkin to mark that. Then finally, moving on to Sunday, the first thing I marked was just, we really wanted to sleep, uh, Joe and myself, because we went to bed really late and I had gotten up really early and we were supposed to go meet his family at the Please Touch Museum because he has a little niece and nephew. Um, we thought we were meeting l late, like afternoon or something, like after lunch that's what they told us we would go after lunch so we thought we had to like one or two and then they were like oh so we'll meet there at at, at i don't know so like 11 or something stupid like that i can't remember but we got less sleep than we had planned because we didn't find out about the earlier meetup time until after dinner so we didn't really plan according accordingly but it's fine so i use this drama queen munchkin to mark that then I marked the Please Touch Museum with this little paper shire uh, dinosaur museum sticker. It was cute. It was fun. I, I enjoyed it, even though it's for kids. It was, it was nice. With this GP Studio house, I marked that uh, Joe and I got a house tour of the um, addition that his brother-in-law's parents were putting on their house. It's massive. It is massive. Just the addition that they put on, they attached a second story. It's like double the size of my apartment, just the addition alone. It is insane. It's beautiful, but they have the biggest house on the block now and it kind of looks ridiculous with all the other the, all the other houses. Then we went to dinner again and I used the Coffee Monsters Co um meal sticker. We went to a place called Marathon Grill, which is pretty good, um, but my quesadilla wasn't as good as it usually is. Then I just marked that I had a lot of time to spend with Joe's niece because she she tends to be obsessed with me and I love it and I'm going to miss it when she grows out of that phase and she's on to somebody else and somebody else is the next best thing, you know, but I've gotten like three years so far of it's me, so I'm going to take it as long as I can get it and we did some coloring, so this little once more with love sticker was perfect for that. Then I felt a cold coming on. It never actually came. It was just my lack of sleep. Um, sometimes if I have not been sleeping and taking care of myself, I start feeling like I'm getting a cold. Um, I'm sure some of you can relate and use this little snotty munchkin to mark that. Then the final thing for this plan with me was that Joe and I watched the thing remake, not the original, and it was decent. It was good. And once again, just this little once more with love munchkin sticker to mark that. But that is everything for this plan with me. Let me know what you thought. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.